Closing arguments underway this weekend in the Italian murder trial of American college student Amanda Knox. NBC's Michelle Kaczynski is in Perugia, Italy with all the latest. Michelle, good morning. Good morning, Lester. This is a final push for prosecutors here. And despite the lack of extensive physical evidence that would tie Amanda Knox or her then boyfriend to the crime scene, they launched into this sort of hypothetical recreation of what they think happened, complete with made up dialogue, claiming that not only was Amanda there, but she was the one who killed her roommate out of hatred and revenge. It may be the beginning of the end of a very long trial. But Amanda Knox had much more to endure from the chief prosecutor. A dramatic reenactment, as he envisions it, of Amanda, boyfriend Raffaele Solecito, and Rudy Gede, a drifter already convicted of the murder, arriving at the apartment together that night. Having used drugs, he said, and in the mood for an intense experience. Finding British student Meredith Kircher there, angry, he said, and Amanda harboring deep resentment because he claims Meredith had accused her of stealing money, being dirty, and bringing home too many boys. Amanda Covato. The hatred for Meredith grew and grew in Amanda, he went on. The time had come for Amanda to take revenge. The argument spiraled out of control. She probably reached out and grabbed Meredith by her face and banged her repeatedly against the wall. So Lechito joined in. Amanda probably said to her, ha, you stuck up Miss Perfect. Now we're going to show you. The three of them began to remove Meredith's clothes. She fought back with all her strength. The prosecutor then imagined it was Amanda who taunted her with a knife. It started to dawn on the Seattle-born student that Meredith was not going to relent her desperate defense. Amanda knew they had to finish the job off. He said in a crescendo of violence, she stabbed Meredith in the throat, killing her. In court, hearing this, Amanda became visibly upset. She was sad. She was very touched by the terrible words that were used against her especially with reference to the fact that there was a uh, friction between her and Meredith, which is absolutely not true. Amanda was a friend of Meredith. Both Amanda and boyfriend deny being at the apartment that night, but just today, prosecutors emphasized that they have bloody footprints from both of them at that scene. They also say both changed their stories. Now, Amanda's family says she's eager to make her own statement before the court. We just don't know when exactly that might happen. Lester. All right, Michelle Kaczynski, thank you very much.